Jeanette here and in this video I'm going to talk about our spring planting that we do. Spring is such a busy time on the homestead and as market gardeners we have to get our ground ready, get our plants ready, then get the, gr the plants in the ground and get things growing so that we can make our money that we have to have to live on for the rest of the year. So I want to share with you some of the processes that we take to to do this uh, getting ready and I want to show you uh, the transplanter that we use in a previous visit video I showed you about the laying the plastic and the plastic layer well today I'm going to show you about the transplanter this is a pole type transplanter uh, it hooks onto the tractor and just pulls along it doesn't lift up or do anything like that it's got a large tank on here that you can fill with water. If you want to, you can put uh, fertilizer in it. We generally don't. When we first started doing it, we did put some fertilizer in there, but we uh, stopped doing it after a Up while. Up here are some shelving where you can put trays of plants. And then on this side is a shelf that slants downward that uh, sets tra you set trays on and then here's another shelf that also slants downward although the tongue of the transplanter is down on the ground right now so it doesn't look like this slants downward it's actually kind of straight <laughs> on each side is a seat so that two people can transplant at the same time in the video that I'm going to show you today, I was doing it alone, sitting in one seat. This is called a transplanting wheel. It has holes in there and these bent metal things that poke a hole in the plastic and then water runs out of the hole here and it just rolls along down the row of the plastic poking holes and dumping water into it and this is the source of the water here comes out of the the tank you turn it on there you can also this shuts the thing on and off so as you're going along you can leave that valve there open all the time but shut it on and off as you want to so uh, this really speeds up transplanting a lot. Instead of having to just walk around and bend over and or get down on your hands and knees poking each Yesterday plant, we were it? fortunate enough to be able to run through here with the transplanter and the little okra seedlings and uh, get that planted, which was so great. Overnight we had a little bit of rain, which makes things a little slippery and sticky but okay, hopefully and we're gonna we're plant uh, our coxcomb and our eggplant at this point and here's my good helper he's been working all night so I know he's tired he'll probably go off and take a nap somewhere but for now he's out here cheering me Cox on comb seedlings we've got them planted in 50 cell trays we sell coxcomb later on flowers. in the summer uh, kind of toward the end of the summer and so we plant them out here in the field just like we do the of the day we got the plastic laid it quit raining and so we were able to come out and get the okra planted the next morning we came back out and we planted the uh, coxcomb flowers and the eggplant then that afternoon we were able to plant 
the uh, peppers, several different kinds of peppers, and some basil, some different squashes, zucchini, then butternuts and spaghetti squashes. We were squashes. able to work really hard for two days and get everything planted in between the rain sessions that we were having. It's always tough in the spring to plan out what you have to do in order to beat the rain uh, and make it so you can get out in your field. It's a challenge and sometimes it's kind of frustrating, but we made it this year. Uh, I've been really tired ever since and almost like I can't hardly recover from it, but I'm so grateful that I got it, got it done. And I just want to share the process with you a little bit. So we appreciate you watching. I hope you'll tune in for more of our channel uh, presentations and we'll see you next time. Link.